group of young girls are locked up in cages. Some of them have lost their consciousness and are zombie-like, while a large number of girls are sent here every day. Even if some barely survive past the age of 18, they will suffer inhumane torture. This day, a girl drank a sip of mineral water and passed out. When she woke up, she was carried like a chick to a warehouse. Two men tied her hands and feet, and an unknown liquid was pumped into her body. She would be sold as goods by the traffickers. On the other side, the buyers had appeared. Justin looked at the girl with a small smile. He pulls out another bundle of money, but is shot directly in the head. The man pushes the girl down. He has long guessed Justin's identity as a cop. He asked Justin to perform some kung fu live. Justin slowly unbuckled his belt and tied the man's hands. A man was directly grabbed by Justin's gun. He ended the fight immediately. Justin flipped the table over. The trafficker was so scared he crumpled up. Justin hung him from the balcony of a high building. The man revealed who was behind it. Justin looked at the poor girl and just threw him off. The mastermind was none other than Victor and his four eldest sons. He controls the human trade in all of Southeast Asia and Victor doesn't even know he's been targeted by Nick the cop's squad. The group walked into the dock. At that moment, the container that had just arrived today was being opened, and a foul stench came over Victor and his youngest son, disgusting them. The people in the container had suffocated, and because of the captain's mistake, Victor told his youngest son to shoot him. The youngest son was obsequious. Victor ended the captain's life with one shot. At that moment, the police smoke bombs also arrived in time. A gun battle broke out between the two sides. 200 police officers had surrounded them. After a fierce duel, the youngest son picked up a submachine gun to show a little bit of desperation. Just show his head. Three shots he let Nick to kill. Nick also succeeded in capturing Victor. The dozens of innocent girls who died in the container shocked Nick. But due to the lack of evidence, Victor was granted legal protection. Nick vowed to put Victor behind bars even if he lost all his money. At night, as he looked at his daughter, Nick thought of the girls in the container who were her age. It would be a sleepless night as the police killed his son. In the middle of the night, Nick received a call from the leader. He came to the window and a bomb flew over. Two bandits walked in and Nick was blown blind. The bandits killed his wife with one shot. And at that moment, his daughter walked in and froze in place. The bandits gave Nick two shots without mercy. In his unconsciousness, he heard the sound of gunshots and his daughter's screams. They also did not expect Nick to survive. But the sad news was that his wife and daughter had been buried in the fire. Due to diplomatic pressure, Victor had gotten his lawyer to post bail. Nick tore off his burned face. He grabbed a painkiller and gave himself a shot. Back home, he packed up the shattered group photo and took out his gun. He went to a Russian restaurant and shot a man dead. The diplomat was just about to speak when he was shot. The lawyer says he has a wife and kids. Nick says he had them two days ago. He got a message that Victor was in Cambodia. He turned on all the gas and just heard a loud bang and the whole restaurant went up in smoke. In Cambodia, a girl was watering her flowers when suddenly a gun approached her. She backhanded and controlled the man behind her. It turns out that he is her boyfriend. Justin. Annie was sold here by traffickers at the age of 12. Now she's an undercover police agent working at the doll bar. Looking at Annie, whose back was full of scars, Justin was heartbroken. The two armies successfully reunited. At the same time police officer Tom also arrived here. They need the cooperation of the A side to catch Nick. It wasn't that easy to catch Nick. They chased him to the parking lot and started looking for him. Justin's colleague was killed by Tom. Tom shot himself again and then threw the empty gun at Nick who was a long way away. Justin caught up with him and saw his dead colleague and the wounded Tom. He fired several shots, but missed. In the nick of time, Nick jumps into the car and escapes. In the evening, Nick came to the doll bar and gave the manager a cone. At that moment, Justin also arrived at the bar after getting the news from Annie. This time, he came with a gun. The manager upstairs was still killed. Justin shot but did not hit each other. The two of them chased each other and finally fought in a warehouse. Justin jumped up 5 meters and kicked Nick out 800 meters. 800 meters but Nick was fine. He jumped up 2 meters again and he shot again. Nick was in pain. He picks up the gun on the ground and instantly takes control of the situation. He tells Justin that it was Tom who killed his colleague and then shattered the light bulb with one shot and ran away. Meanwhile, Annie had fallen under Victor's spell. In a dilapidated warehouse, two men enter the room and the girls cower in fear. Just as the men were about to try something, they were shot down. He picks up his AK and tries to fight back but is killed. The bandits heard the shots and came quickly. They were no match for Nick. He controlled one man with a chokehold and shot and killed the other. Victor's son was so scared that he ran away. Nick then saw that hundreds of girls were locked up. Just then, 
Victor's oldest son arrived and shot his third brother dead. Before Nick could get Victor's whereabouts, another group of men arrived and started shooting wildly at Nick. At that moment, Justin arrives from the back and kills all his opponents. He put his gun to Nick's head. Nick didn't kill his partner at all. At that moment, Tom started shooting towards the two. Justin went after them, and they ran out of bullets and started boxing. Tom kicked him over. Justin was knocked 200 meters away again. Tom forgot about Justin's arm. He gave Tom a flying kick and knocked him out. He gave Tom two more blows to end the fight. Tom had long been Victor's lapdog and he still defied the two to stop the human skin trade. Justin only said two words to him. By watching countless girls being rescued, Nick's heart once again thought of his daughter. He knew Victor was in a small town at the border. By now Annie had fallen into Victor's hands. She was so scared that Victor pushed her down in a second. Annie squirted the pen water over. Victor tasted it, and it was sweet. He stood up and gave her a kick. They were ready to run. There was no point in keeping Annie now. There was a gunshot and the penis was sent flying. It turned out that Justin had finally arrived. Nick fired a rocket and the bad guys were all wounded. The two of them went on a killing spree. At this moment, the boss also covered his father to run first. Justin kicked up, turned around, and shot. The boss, however, took Annie hostage, and the two looked at each other, as if they had a heart-to-heart. -heart. Justin dropped the pistol and Annie pushed him away. Justin rushed forward and broke his arm. He killed the boss. Rector got in a helicopter and tried to run. Nick put all the bullets out and the pilot managed to get killed. Rector closed his eyes until the momentum was gone and that plane hit the ground. The ground all exploded. Nick killed Victor with a knife. 